Good morning, Nighthawks. I'm Rustin. And I'm Jackson. Today is Friday, December 1st, 2023. It's National Christmas Lights Day. The weather today will be a high of 39 and a low of 25. Now it's time for your pledge. Please stand, put your right hand over your heart, and say the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, 6th and 7th graders, do you want to be on the news just like us? Well, you should sign up for NHTV next year. NHTV is a year-long elective that explores the world of broadcast and film production. You will learn skills in filming and editing while helping to make our daily news broadcast. Audition sheets are right outside of Mr. McKay's room, 139, next to the drama room. Make sure you hurry though, space is limited and your audition video is due January 19th. Talk to Mr. McKay if you have any questions. Do you enjoy baking? Then come join the fun. Make fabulous desserts from different Spanish-speaking countries, like churros, sopapillas, and more. You will learn Spanish terms used in baking and some culture. Join Miss Majetic and Miss Smith next week on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, December 7th from 3 to 4.30, available to all grade levels. Don't wait. Sign up today. Registration is open and will close at midnight on Sunday, December 3rd. Register on myschoolbooks.com. Attention all chess players or wannabes. Join our chess club to practice, learn, or sharpen your skills while making some new friends or hanging out with the old ones. Chess club will meet Wednesdays during the third quarter in Miss Aguil's room, 243. All skill levels are welcome. Sign up on myschoolbox.com. If it's your birthday, then this one's for you. Happy, happy, happy birthday from my likeness to you. We wish you happy birthday so we can make it too. Woo! Joke time. Why do reindeer like Beyonce so much? Why? Because she slays. Congratulations to the 8th grade girls A basketball team who went 5-1 and one this season. Their only loss was by two points to Mesa Middle School. They picked up a nice win against Rancho yesterday. Avery Hogg and Sammy Petrie controlled the boards, and Maddie Rosher and Grayson Poppleton moved the ball well up the court. Ansley Carson hit two key baskets in the fourth quarter to put us up by eight points for the win. Good luck in the district tournament on Saturday, Nighthawks. That's, That's all we have for you today, today Nighthawks. Have, have a fantastic, fun, fabulous, funky, flawless, fancy, flabby, fairy, famous, flabbergasted, fa, fun, phosphorus, food, feet, foop, flop, flute, flee, ride it, bye, roll it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Does your backpack look like this? If so, you should think about organizing with these simple step-by-step -step tricks. Take out and organize all papers in fair crack folder, throwing away anything you don't need. Take out and organize all papers in fair crack folder, throwing away anything you don't need. Next, set your folders aside and take out your notebooks, stacking them neatly in a pile. After this, take out any miscellaneous objects you have in your backpack, including computers or any textbooks or even pencil cases. Now is a good time to go through your stuff. What should you keep versus what should you throw away? Graded homework from last quarter? Throw it out. Completed test from ages ago? Sorry, you don't need those either. Next to the assignment? Yeah, definitely keep it. After going through your things, it's time to put everything back in. Stack your belongings however you like. What am I? This is what it should look like after you have it all organized. Now, I know it's hard keeping your backpack clean, especially during a rush school day. Here's some more trips to keep it nice and clean throughout the school day. Number one, check for things you don't need each day before or after school. This is efficient because when you consistently check your backpack, you can fix it if it's messy. Also, getting rid of books you don't need on block days or papers that are too old to keep will make more room in your backpack and make it lighter too. Number two. When you're in a rush to get to class, stuffing papers in your bag may seem like the only option. That's okay. However, try to be strategic about how you place those loose papers in and avoid crumpling them. When your next class starts, simply put your old papers away when you get the chance or when you are supposed to take out new ones. 
Number three, make goals. Everyone has tried to be an organized backpack before, but motivation is lacking. Write down goals to look through your stuff on certain days and make tiny steps to achieving whatever goal you might have with your backpack. For extra motivational pull, consider setting up a reward system, like getting a cookie or something fun when you organize. This will make the process feel less like a chore.